Welcome to Unity Town. Give yourselves a big round of applause for coming out tonight. Woo! Let me hear. Whoop, whoop. Let me hear. It's turkey time. It's turkey time. Let me hear. Uh, my wife. My wife. Very nice. Okay, you're in the pickle. We got a good one for you. Please welcome to the stage your host, Matt McMahon. for supporting live comedy. We are so grateful. The internet is killing us, y'all. If it's not on a screen, it's not cool. But you know who's protesting that right here, right now? You guys! Yeah! Fuck the screen! Say that with me on three. One, two, three! Fuck the screen! As I said that, somebody pulled out their phone. Like, I need it! I need it! No, you don't! Put that away! I'm turning on silent! I'm so sorry! You take that fucking thing, you split it in half! You stick half of it up your ass! And the other half up your neighbor's ass! Cause we're doing live comedy! It's three dimensional, baby! We can touch you! We, we will touch you! One of us will get arrested for assault. That's part of the excitement. Lauren's saying stop it, man. And I only did a little cocaine back then. Um, everything we're doing up here is made up on the spot. Everything I've just been saying. I didn't think I was going to say that back there. Did I think I was going to come out and tell somebody to shove a phone up their ass? No, I did not think that. I just said it. <laughs> our whole show is going to be like that. But guess what? It's not just coming off the top of our heads. We are going to be inspired by one monologist. A monologist is somebody who tells stories. Just one person talking. And that is uh, 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 Ben Scaria. Give it up for Ben. Woo! I'll call up Ben in a minute. He's standing back there sheepishly in a sweater, but we'll call him up in, in a minute. But before we do, let's say hello to our cast. Uh, for tonight's pickle. Come on out, y'all! Matt Pina! Caroline McCallum! Christine Sexfield! Danny McCallum! Nina Bond! And Kenny Gray! Um, and one more thing before I get going. At the end of the show, we're giving away this very special uh, a jar of pickles uh, decorated by local artisan Ashley Voltz. Give it up wow. for her. Um, without further ado, let's say hello to tonight's monologist, Ben Scaria. Come on down! Yeah! Hey, everybody. Uh, so I was trying to think about what I was going to tell stories about, and I thought I would tell uh, stories that uh, progressively age myself. I don't know if that's what I'm uh, so the first story I'm going to tell uh, is a, a story about summer camp. Uh, uh, summer camp where I had my first love and first uh, rejection. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm over it. I'm happily married now. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but I went to a camp uh, from when I was uh, 9 to 12, uh, over four years, not for one four-year period, uh, <laughs> called Shire Village, Camp Shire Village. Uh, it is in Cummington, Massachusetts. Um, to be honest, I, I never thought about that until uh, I was writing the notes down today, and I was like, how did I miss that? Uh, <laughs> the innocent ages of 9 to 12, you don't uh, pay attention to that. But it was Shire Village, and Shire Village was a really hippie camp. Uh, it was uh, a non-competitive, non-sexist, non-racist camp that was their that's their tagline <laughs> uh, and it was uh like three barns in the berkshires uh and it was run by a bunch of old hippies and you would go and uh it was a really weird camp i mean i'm sure it was a regular uh camp except for the non-competitive part like all the games were always zero zero the sports no matter what and if people got too competitive they would just end it right away because <laughs> the whole thing was it was about fun uh, so, uh, but the camp was weird because there was no, your daily schedule 
you got to choose what you wanted to do. And so three times a day you would meet at the meeting pole, which, uh, <laughs> which was a big pole in the center of campus that may or may not have been uh, uh, adorned to look like, um, uh, you know, what are the, with the eagle and the, uh, what's the, what am I talking about? Totem, Totem, Totem pole. pole, thank you, that's exactly right. Uh, and you would go and all the counselors would step forward and be like, uh, for this session I'm going to teach tie-dye. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be over in bar number one, and we're going to be tie-dyeing shirts. And then somebody would be like, I'm leading a nature hike over here. And then literally one was like, we're watching old TV commercials. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the things. Like, looking back, it was so weird. And we would go sit uh, in, the, in the camp uh, office and watch. <laughs> Like a VCR thing of all commercials and just talk about why they were funny commercials. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it was awesome. It was, I chose that one pretty often. Uh, and uh, every year would culminate with a big uh, dance. Like a, 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 not a, not a, you know. What? It's a non-competitive. A non-competitive dance. Uh, we were all there together. And uh, there was a woman named Caitlin Burke and Caitlin Burke was my first uh, crush. I thought she was just the greatest. She, uh, I would often work uh, in the barn with her, and there was a farm, working farm, and it wasn't much of a farm. It was like uh, chicks and one goat and one cow, uh, and maybe a couple turkeys. Uh, but that was it. And uh, but she would always work there. I think she worked on a farm, or were, you know, was from a farm. Ming family, uh, and so, <laughs> not from a farm, uh, from a farming family, and so uh, I would often, whenever she would choose that, I would go choose that as well, and and uh, I just I thought she was amazing. I thought she was incredible. She was uh, funny and and kind, and uh, I was infatuated with her, and I decided that I was going to dance with her uh, at the dance, and I never I had told her that I liked her. I mean, it was probably pretty obvious because I always picked what she wanted to do and I was there. But uh, uh, And so we had a DJ and back then the DJ was literally a guy uh, with a boom box and he uh, had CDs and cassettes. I'm uh, older uh, than I look. And uh, so this is like before uh, an iPad or an iPod or anything like that. And the song Lady in Red uh, was playing uh, Lady in Red dancing with me cheek to cheek uh, and I was like this is my this is the time this is the time I'm gonna make my move and Caitlin was uh, on the other side of the of the dance with her friends and I walked over to Caitlin and I was like hey uh, do you want to dance with me and she said, uh, I have a headache. <laughs> and, uh, and she said, so I have to leave. And so she, <laughs> she literally left the dance rather than dance with me. Uh, I think she must have truly had a headache. I tell myself that. <laughs> and then she had a friend, her, one of her friends who left with her, came back and told me that she was really sorry. Uh, but I mean, that, that was it. She didn't tell me ever herself. Uh, she had a friend tell me that she was sorry and that she would uh, see me the next day. And uh, But then we never talked about it, ever. And so it was completely unrequited, unrequited, unrequited uh, love that, that uh, I think she must have known and wasn't ready to handle it. And uh, and But Caitlin Burke, I still think about you. <laughs> I'm, I'm happily married! <laughs> I still think of Caitlin Burke and uh, the song "Lady in Red." Whenever I whenever I hear that song, I think of her. Yeah. Hi there. My name's Dr. John Carter. I'll be your radiologist. I just want you to know. Yes. I'm not competitive. In any way. Just if at any point you're confused or worried that I'm competitive, I'm not. He's not competitive. I mean, as long as you're willing to, you know, fight the cancer in me. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing I can't beat. Nothing. Nothing I can't beat. I will kill anything in my way. There's not a competition. Your it's heart. right. It's right. It's your not. Heart. It's not. It's not. So if you uh, just want to... His heart? Did you his, say heart. his heart. Well, uh, the doctors... Uh, sorry. I... Do you have a bad heart? No, my heart's great. It's the best heart in the world. It can't be bad. It can't be bad. Just have a seat. Don't worry. That have a seat. This isn't about me. <laughs> so. Um, do you have any uh, metal on you? Um, do you have any metal on you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you uh, my rings, I guess. Is that good? I mean,
mean, you came highly recommended. They didn't mention the non-competitive things, but I guess I didn't really know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not competitive. <laughs> I'm not competitive. I would never get cancer, but I'm not competitive. <laughs> I would never, that's why I help people, because that would never happen to me. Uh, not uh, once. Dr. Rogers, just yeah. so you know, uh, Dr. Bluth is in the building today. Oh, actually, I did, I actually did invite him as well. He was, I just hi. thought it would be good to get hey. his opinions. Hey. <laughs> hey, my patient, my patient. <laughs> Thank and you. For that, I'm forever grateful. And I'm Why grateful. does everyone fucking hate me? <laughs> <laughs> did they already? Did they already ask if you had metal on you? <laughs> they did. I gave her my rings. Oh great! I just great. walk around with brass knuckles. I can't yeah. help it. I'm not the best doctor at this hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do a scan on? I think, yeah, I would say I'm willing to give up my appointment time for you. No, no, you're the one with cancer. We got it. <laughs> it's you. It can't be about me. This can't be about me. You're, <laughs> you're a mess, man. I feel so dumb all the time. <laughs> hey, you went to medical school. I went to Hartford. You went yeah. to Harvard Medical School. No, H R F O R D. You say Hartford? Hartford. You went to Hartford? Hartford. No T. <laughs> it's it's an all right, everyone. Welcome to uh, Hartford uh, <laughs> Medical School. Um, uh, we're just, uh, we're so tickled to have you here. Uh, Thank you. Uh, we're, every year it's a surprise that anybody even applies. Uh, and yet we have... <laughs> wow, well, well, I, I, don't want to, I don't want to fight you, so uh, you know, put your fist down. I'm just, uh, I'll put them back in my holsters. Uh, well, okay, uh, well that's cute. Uh, uh, oh, our first question of the semester. Uh -huh. uh, oh, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so, um, I was, uh, I was wondering when do we start doing squirrel stuff? Uh, <laughs> I want to know uh, when squirrel stuff starts, too, because yes. I okay, came to school stuff? for squirrel stuff. Yeah, Just, okay. Uh, your, your honor. Uh, 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 thank you, um, a kind uh, pupil. Um, We're the best and brightest. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we can uh, we can do um, a squirrel stuff. Don't you agree? We should do some squirrel stuff. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just have a question about the specifics of the squirrel stuff that we're gonna be learning about. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> a a follow-up question. I'm 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 curious uh, what you're curious about. Well, I just want to know how the tail gets so bushy. <laughs> Great question. Great question. Okay, I'm so <laughs> really smart. Um, so I'm I'm hearing that you're interested in squirrel anatomy. Um, okay. The tail specifically. Yes. Okay. So if anyone's going to guess at the bottom of it, I think it's this class. <laughs> the bottom of it, like the tail. Uh, oh, uh, that's, uh, that's the part of uh, the, the Hartford wit we look for. Um, yeah, yes. I'm here for the stuffed squirrel. <laughs> when do we get the stuffed squirrel? You want to stuff the squirrel? Yeah, um, not sexually. <laughs> not sexually. <laughs> Okay, buddy, uh, I, 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 hey, uh, I, I, I'm not the one who suggested it. Dirty. I didn't say dirty. Ow! Ow! What? Ow! Get out. Ow! Get the fuck out of here! You're fucking gross! Get out! Get out of here! Get out! Get out! Get out! Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this um, this commercial, it's like, uh, it's kind of my best work. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I have like people over to my house, I like put up my like commercials and That's like wow. it's like an art gallery, but like visual, you That's know. That's wonderful. Wow. It's like art, but it's visual instead of. Just <laughs> yeah, just yeah. unlike most art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
that's that's wonderful. Thank you. It just yeah. has a arrow and it says drink this. Yeah, drink this. Water. Water. <laughs> yeah. It didn't make any money because water's free. Free for most people, yeah. most of the time. That's right. <laughs> Unless you have a arbitrage situation. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like if you're at a sports game and no one can get water. I don't want to talk about it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> Those are those are just beans. <laughs> yeah, look, it's it's beans falling from the sky. Wow, yeah, beans. It's, instead of rain, it's beans. beans. Yeah. Wow. The magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. toot. <laughs> and the more you toot, the more you, the better you feel. <laughs> so let's have beans for every meal. You haven't heard that before? Oh no. I, no. Is this hot? <laughs> Am I turned on? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> just checking in. <laughs> and then there's this one. This is my Coupe de Grace. Oh. <laughs> it's Destiny's, Destiny's Child. Child. <laughs> Dixville, here we come. <laughs> That's where we're going. <laughs> Yeah, but did you hear what you said? No, I didn't. <laughs> we're going to Dixville, and we're going to come there soon. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get there soon. Mom. <laughs> what language? I don't understand. What, what you said was about. naughty. Okay, um, uh, uh what? <laughs> I've never said anything naughty since your father and I made you. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 it's not my fault that you got into horf. <laughs> so we're gonna get to Dixville in an hour and a half and You said it again. You said Dixville. Don't you see what you're saying? First part, Dix. Second part, Bill. Like a village of Dix. That's hilarious. Just loosen up a little bit. Think about it. I don't like to think about a village of Dix. Sorry. Pull over. Pull over the car. Pull over the car. <laughs> Picture a village, a quaint village. Okay. Maybe like the movie The Village. Yes. I remember that movie? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> what happens in it again? Just don't worry about it. Okay. Well, now well picture... it's hard to picture it when I can't remember most of it. Uh, I think it was M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, okay. So it twists at the end. Um, but okay, picture this quaint village, right? Mm -hmm. And instead of houses, where there would normally be houses, picture a big giant dick sprouted oh. from the ground. No, 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 I don't like that one bit. Oh, oh. I'm thinking of other ones, all different shapes and sizes that I can get. <laughs> <laughs> can you help me out? We're doing a dick raising over on the field. <laughs> These dicks feel after all, we got to get that big old dick right up in the sky. <laughs> oh, the last time we got a dick up, I hurt my lower back. Oh, yeah, I hurt my lower back. Whether well, we got a dick up, you're your back pulling the dick. I got the dick up, my back got hurt. Oh, boy, I heard you gonna holler, holler up the dicks on the. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you some lemonade because you look like you could be hot when you're putting up the dicks up on there. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank sweet you. Marie. You are so kind. You you're are so, so welcome. kind. Right. <laughs> Our mom is cool. Hey. <laughs> I saw that movie, The Village, by M. Not Shyamalan. <laughs> it feels a lot like us. You're, you're saying that what? We got the we we wear those red hoods and we yeah. live in colonial New England. Yeah, but it feels like it's on our own land, but it's really just in the middle of a public park. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maybe we should load up the dick onto the big pole, and then we can all pull it up together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Y'all. Hey, what? I feel silly. <laughs> Why do you feel silly? I feel silly. Why? I feel like all we're doing is loading up dicks, putting them up in the air. Does anybody else do that? <laughs> Not that I know of. I've no. only been stuck in this village. They won't let us leave the elders of the town. <laughs> kind of like that movie, M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, I just had questions about what the outside's like. Well, like, we can't leave because there's a wood full of vicious dicks. Yeah. <laughs> and Don't if we you... go in there, they'll get us. I know. They kind of like that movie, The Village, by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> I like that they let us watch films from outside. <laughs> 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 
It's the one film we got, but it's the one film we need. Come on, boys, we gotta get this dick up. All right. Mm. I'll grab the shat. Whoa. <laughs> That's I one of the balls. <laughs> grab the other ball. Okay. This is, all right, I'll just get under here and hoist it. But if my back gets fucked again, <laughs> you're putting the salve on it. You have medical insurance. We'll, yeah. we'll cover you. The doctor's got you. Yeah, Randy will take care of you. Oh, uh, Randy's all worried about competition and shit. I don't trust him one bit. He went to, okay. <laughs> all right, now pull. <laughs> I feel like Atlas, but like kind of in a gay way. Hey, Grayson. Hey. I noticed you in uh, miming class today. Yeah, I love miming. Yeah. You're really good at it. Thanks. So maybe I'll see you at the talent show later. What are you doing? At the talent show? Yeah. Slam poetry. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, it's like poetry, but angrier. <laughs> <laughs> That's rad. It's rad. Yeah. I really like that. Really? Yeah. I didn't know what that was, but now it makes me think I want to do, like, slam miming. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you quiet in miming? Yeah, but anger doesn't have to speak. <laughs> You know, like the silent treatment? Yeah. You know? That's so true. You're so deep. Okay, Thanks. so if I, if I blast a microwave ray directly into her head, she will get a headache from long range. And it will ruin this child's early relationship. Be <laughs> careful, Bartholomew! <laughs> you could alter the course of history itself! <laughs> My head hurts when I look at you. <laughs> I don't know. It's like everywhere else I feel completely fine, but the minute I look at you, I'm, I feel the worst I've ever cover, felt. I can cover it with the bag. I don't know. I can see your face through the bag. I just know it. All right. Ah, oh, man. I hope you feel better, Grayson. I'll see you at the gonna, talent show. Bye. It worked. Pretty good. I knew. You were too busy concerning yourself as to whether you could do it <laughs> to think if you should do it. I'm I just thought of that. <laughs> you should write that down. It's a good one. It's very good. Uh, all right, guys. Beers? Beers? I guess beers, right? All right, let's get Ben back up here. <laughs> uh, so, I grew up in New York City, uh, and I grew up... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I grew up in New York City, a pre-Giuliani, uh, which means the city uh, was a shithole, but it was great because you could do whatever you wanted, uh, and uh, the cops would leave you alone. And so did you ever see the movie Kids? Uh, our, <laughs> that person did. Uh, my high school uh, years were kind of like that, with less uh, really problematic stuff, but uh, it was a bunch of kids just like roaming the streets, drinking and smoking a bunch of weed uh and we would <laughs> hang out on like the steps of the natural history museum and uh, in front of gracie mansion which was uh, where the mayor lived uh and you know, there was a park and we would literally just hang out and uh the mayor at the time was david dinkins uh <laughs> <laughs> his name uh and one of the places we used to hang out uh was this old pier that used to jut out into the east river and it was down on uh, the, like the mid twenties uh, in the streets, and it would go out into the East River, and it was like this long uh, concrete pier that would jut out about fifty yards into the river, and then there was a, a big landing out there, uh, and you used to just be able to walk out there and just hang out. And there were the craziest uh, night we we had there. There were like thirty of us out there, and we were hanging out. Uh, and I was with uh, a guy I used to buy weed from named Fester. Uh, I don't know what his real name was. Uh, it could have been Fester, I guess, but I doubt it. Uh, but Fester was there. 
Uh, and then there were like 15 or 16 of us out on this pier, and we were smoking blunts and drinking uh, 40s and just sort of hanging out and having a good time. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, there was a spotlight on us. And, uh, you know, big spotlight. And we all sort of froze and looked down at the end of the pier, and there was a, a cop car sitting uh, at the end of the cop car, at the, at the end of the pier, just looking at us. And it became a standoff. Uh, we were sort of looking at the cops. They were clearly looking at us. And my friend Lizzie uh, was real nervous and real high. And she started singing the, the Brady Bunch theme song, uh, <laughs> as you do. And then uh, the rest of us started singing the Brady Bunch theme song with her because we were all drunk and high. And so we sing, we sing the, Bra the Brady Bunch theme song. And we finish. And there's silence for like 20 seconds. Uh, and then the cops get on their loudspeaker. And the cop goes... <coughs> Do Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, uh, and so we didn't. Uh, and then he goes, uh, do Gilligan's Island now. <laughs> so then we all sang Gilligan's Island. And then the cops went, all right, have a great night. Don't be here when we get back. And they pulled out and they drove away. And we were all like, did that? just fucking happened. <laughs> uh, but we left, and it was the best policing I've ever seen because they clearly realized that we were a bunch of kids who were not uh, in any kind of uh, danger and not in any kind of, uh, to us or to anybody else. We were just out on the pier, and they wanted to disperse us, and, uh, and they made us sing. And then <laughs> and, and we left. But the city used to be like that. The city used to just be a place where you could... Uh, do whatever you wanted until uh, until Giuliani came, and then Giuliani came into office, and immediately it turned into a very uh, law and order type uh, of place. And I remember uh, going back to New York. Uh, so I, I, when I turned eighteen, I left and went to college and came back, and uh, thought it was the city that I left, and was walking down the street drinking a beer, uh, as you do. <laughs> And cops stopped me, and they said, uh, are you 21? And I said, no. Uh, and they said, yeah, we're going to have to write you up for an open alcohol container. And I went, okay. And the cop goes, but you have to finish that first. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, yeah, he made me finish the beer that I had, uh, and then he wrote me up for uh, a container of, of open alcohol. And I was supposed to go in uh, to see some sort of judge, uh, but... <laughs> I was in college in California when I was supposed to, and so I called the phone number uh, that was your, that was the courthouse, and I uh, was like, hey, I'm not going to be able to, to make it. And they were like, well, you, you better be here. And I was like, I'm in California. I'm not going to be able to be there. And they said, uh, well, you're going to have a bench warrant for your arrest. And I was 18, and I was like, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> and so I didn't go. Uh, and to this day, <laughs> uh, I've never been pulled over again in New York, so I don't know what would happen if I was. I could still be, uh, but this was over 20 years ago, though, so I doubt, I doubt I'm wanted, <laughs> but I can't tell you that I'm not wanted. <laughs> So you kids have come back to Lester. Oh, yeah, yeah oh that's right. Boy. Yeah, that's right, Uncle Polly. Yeah, Paul. Paul. Yeah, Uncle Polly. Yeah, Polly Lester. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you want some weed? <laughs> yeah. No, the stuff you gave us last time was so good. I can stop singing theme songs. Also, Lester, I'm so sorry. You sell weed in Lester, Massachusetts. So I was so confused. Yeah, yeah, Paul Lester from Lester, Lester Mass. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah, I just got confused. And the reason the weed does that to you is because I buy it from a bunch of Broadway stars. <laughs> oh, it's infused. It's infused yeah, with yeah, that like talent. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Hey, Lester. Yeah. I think you're full of shit. <laughs> I don't think you know anybody. Dude, shut up. No, I'm sick of this. He's for free. He's wearing a gold beret. <laughs> That's what he does. You're going to mess this up. We're going to have to pay someone else. I just, I don't trust him. What if he's giving us shit? What did you say to me? <laughs> your 
always talking about Broadway stars, and you live in Leicester, Massachusetts. <laughs> just like, I don't think it that is, anything... It is weird. It is... You yeah, wear a gold weird. beret. You have tap shoes. I've never seen you tap. <laughs> it's just... You know, it's frustrating. You don't think a the Leicester hangs out with Broadway stars? Name one. Liza Minnelli. No. <laughs> <laughs> From now. From now. Patty LaPone. That's not, no, no. I also don't think she's performing right now. Mandy Patinkin. <laughs> no! <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> do it! Fucking do it! I'd rather buy my drugs from a fucking honest man than buy it from a liar! So I do this every time. I know! It's that song and, da song and dance that we go through. Oh, Lester! Lester, honey! Yeah. Oh, I I've got some, uh, I've got some more of that Wait, dream. It's Liza the Minnelli! Liza. <laughs> Trust them. I lash out. I have to remind him I'm his actual sister many times. You're. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I pulled you over. Um, could you could you not could you not mimic my body position? <laughs> Listen, I, I, I pulled. I, could you please not? Do I really? Look? Oh, no, I'm... <laughs> I pulled you over because you were crossing the street in front. What is in front of oncoming traffic? I'm you just walk... trying to remember what happened. <laughs> you walked. You walked across the street in front. <laughs> in front of oncoming traffic. What no, kind you... of walk was I doing? And it wasn't this. <laughs> No, you weren't slinking like a cat. Either. <laughs> you didn't have any particular lilt or gait to you. You just, you, you just had a normal freaking walk. Doesn't sound like me. Doesn't sound like me. I'm always getting to places in a creative way. <laughs> it was you. You're standing on the sidewalk that you walked from that side of the street. I would call myself ready to launch. I wouldn't say this is standing. I would say I'm ready to launch. So it's not ready. It's a stance, but I'm not standing. So it doesn't sound like me that. Okay, well, so I was standing. Okay, I was standing. <laughs> Are you done talking? <laughs> um, I think so, yeah. Keep going, I'll see. You know I gotta write you up. What are you gonna do without this pen? You don't have the only pen. <laughs> you didn't take my pen. You just are holding a pen. You think that you can dangle that pen over me? Like, if I don't have that pen, I it's can't write... Ballpoint. Every pen is a ballpoint. Pen. <laughs> Every pen made after 1850 is a ballpoint pen. Okay. So you're gonna write me up. Yeah. You're gonna write me up and then. <laughs> huh? and then what? You're gonna write me up and then what? <laughs> and then you follow the instructions on a ticket. <laughs> and then you go to the, you know, the, the stuff. Hey, I'm sorry, officer. I just, I can't, I can't pass by. There's also felt tip. <laughs> Come back over here. Come back over here. Come back over here. Come back over here. You can back over here. That's correcting an officer on a. It's, it's giving feedback. Thank you. That's actually correcting an You're officer. You're on his side? I was trying to be. I was on. Oh, oh. Don't you copy what I'm doing. Don't you copy what I'm doing. Okay. You... I'm gonna write you up, sir. <laughs> for impersonating an officer. I'm gonna write you 
up. How about that shit? Oh, oh it's spelled tip. <laughs> It's not that much. <laughs> I ran on a simple campaign promise. The Dinkins promise. Mm -hmm. I don't act unless everyone is dead. <laughs> I don't act until, until everyone is dead. Dinkins. <laughs> Oh, that's, there it there is! There it is! You found it! That's not Waldo, that's it's me! <laughs> I'm the last remaining man in New York City. I'm the last living man in New York City. You killed everyone in this town. I have to do shit until you fall. <laughs> I have to do shit. I'm getting so close, my body has been so dysentery for so long. It's disinterested in me being alive, and yet I can't quite die. You're the chosen one, aren't you? <laughs> you can withstand all the dysentery in the world. New York City was an experiment. <laughs> Eight million people what? fill the water supply with poop. Then oh. Fill the water supply <laughs> and see who survives. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, officer, officer, yeah, it's me, Michael O'Brien. You might notice I once drove through this city 18 years ago. Someone might be wanted. I don't have a license to carry. That's the crime! I don't have, I have a gun with no license to carry. That's the crime. I followed every other rule. I stopped at yellows. <laughs> I only turned when the arrow said I could. I let people cross the road, but this is a gun. <laughs> I've got a headache. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, hey, officer. Perhaps you recognize this face. You may have seen it on a wanted poster. Uh, Fortnite pass. Oh, I'm not a cop. I'm a stripper. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> I'm a widow kid with a slack <laughs> I told a camp story, I told a high school story. Uh, I finished college, I went to school in California for uh, a year and a half, uh, did not go well. Um, I mean, it was a fun time, but that was the problem. Um, <laughs> so then I moved to Vermont uh, to continue uh, uh, pretending to be a hippie. And uh, I went to a place called Marlboro College, that's where I got my degree from, Marlboro College. Uh, just uh, uh, got bought out by Emerson College uh, last year or the Woo. year before. Yeah. Uh, and so, but when I was there, it was 325 people in the entire school. And it was just a little uh, town on the, on the top of this mountain in Vermont uh, where you uh, could study whatever you wanted. 
Uh, they've had two years of, of general education, and then you, after your sophomore year, you would go in and you'd say, this is what I'd like to study for the last, next two years. They would go, okay, or they would say no, but they would never say no. Uh, <laughs> and uh, like a buddy of mine who studied, he was like, I'd like to build a tree house and live in it uh, for the next two years. And they were like, okay. Uh, you have to write something about it, but then, um, what was, what was the point of this story? <laughs> uh, it was a really, it was a really fun school, but it was full of all sorts of, uh, sort of kids who couldn't find uh, a community somewhere else, right? People who, uh, uh, sort of did whatever the hell they wanted. Uh, we had to make it so that you had, couldn't LARP, uh, which is live action role play in the library because people were questing through the library as people were trying to do work. So we had to have a town meeting. That's how all the rules were decided at the school. Everybody got a vote. You literally all showed up in the, in the uh, cafeteria and, uh, everybody was like, I want to make it so that you can't LARP in the library. And everybody was like, who wants to do that? And you all raised your hand. And, uh, so we cut off LARPing, but this, so just so you guys know, it's a kind of weird school, uh, that it was. And one of the weird things uh, that we like to do as uh, kids uh, on top of a mountain in Vermont was get naked a lot, right? Uh, as, as you do. I don't know. Um, but they had a naked Christmas party. When I say they, it was not school sanctioned. That would be real weird. Uh, but there was a dorm. Uh, there were dorms called Halfway, and then there was a dorm called All the Way, uh, which uh, <laughs> those were their actual names. And uh, uh, All the Way was all the way up the hill and Halfway. <laughs> Halfway up the hill. You guys get it. Uh, and so all the way would host a naked Christmas party every year. You show up, you take your clothes off, you drink eggnog and sing Christmas carols. It was real weird. Uh, the whole there was there was no point in being naked, uh, other than the fact that it was crazy. Uh, and so I remember being at this party uh, one year, and uh, <laughs> this is this is uh, embarrassing. Uh, there was, uh, my buddy had a, 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 a confetti gun. It was a gun that you shot and then uh, c confetti came out. And, uh, at least that's what I thought happened, right? I thought you just pulled the, the trigger and then uh, confetti came out. Uh, and this woman, Allison, uh, showed up to the, uh, naked Christmas party and she was still fully clothed because she had just shown up. And, uh, I went over and I was like, hey, welcome to the party. I had this gun in my hand. Uh, and I... <laughs> meant to shoot uh, uh, confetti on her. What I didn't know is that it, it actually shoots a little ball out and then the ball explodes in confetti. Yeah, I shot Allison in the face. Uh, uh, and so I'm, I was like, hey, welcome to the party, wham! And uh, she just instantly started crying uh, and I felt terrible and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I went, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and she recoiled from me and then I realized I didn't have any clothes on and she didn't know me very well. And so I was a naked guy who shot her in the face with a gun and then went to give her a hug. Uh, and uh, she and I were not friends after that. Uh, but it was, a, it was a really fun school to go to. And uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great time. Enjoy that. <laughs> wow. You're saying that we could go halfway or all the way tonight? That's right. right. Dang. So I get to choose between us going halfway or all the way tonight in the bed? That's right. We can either go halfway or straight up, if it's cool with you, all the way. <laughs> By the way, do you know what those are? Do you know what you're agreeing to when you agree to those half and full measurements? I think I'd like to know. I'm glad you asked. So halfway refers to me... <laughs> Put in my mouth where it belongs. <laughs> All the way refers to me putting my ding dong where it belongs. <laughs> this is the vernacular taught to me by my college. <laughs> hey, so you're telling me I can have your mouth halfway, i.e. where your mouth's supposed to go. Right. <laughs> or I can have you That's correct. Which of those selections uh, pleases you? <laughs> Dang, this is a real Sophie's choice, huh? <laughs> it's exactly the same. Either way, it's going to be awesome. Fuck! <laughs> so it's just that I can only do one of these tonight. 
that's the deal. Unfortunately, I only got one of them in me. <laughs> Other guys got both, not me. Hey. I'm a one trick pup pony. <laughs> <laughs> on the one hand, I love mouths going where they're supposed to go. <laughs> Are you one of those like super smart scientific people? Because right now you are considering and weighing options. Normally people just go, hell nah, hell yeah, pick an option. Whoa, huh. Oh, good God. I'll get that one. <laughs> hey, bro, sorry to interrupt, but you just know, uh, I'm really competitive. And I wanted to offer your lady here a few additional options. My girl? <laughs> Man, what the get, fuck? Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Jim, okay, I'm... we both understand what just happened. <laughs> okay? You just shot me in the face. In the face. Am I alive? You're hey, you're alive. Let's look at the silver linings. You're alive, my gun works. Everything is <laughs> like, whoa, look at us on top! I told you not to bring that gun into New York! Oh uh, well, it's pre it's PG, pre Giuliani. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Is this a bad time? <laughs> I just got shot in the face. Okay. I think my eyeballs hanging. I'm here to look at the apartment. <laughs> okay. Good time. Okay. Yeah. Good time. I, I got it. We have to sublet this apartment. You're bleeding a lot, sir. Leave him alone. shot in the face. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe I don't need to live in New York. Maybe I go back to Minnesota. No, Do you want to know. follow your dreams, kid, or not? You gonna be a star on Broadway? Or you gonna be yeah. a little fuck in Minnesota? <laughs> I can do it. I can do the tour. I'll get you the tour. I'm sorry. He does that part of the tour. Uh, Do you want to uh, be a fuck on Broadway? <laughs> yeah, it's all I've ever wanted my whole life. Almost. Okay. I almost, almost got yeah, almost. it. It's fine. I'm missing a lobe. <laughs> so, can we show you the hallway? This is this it. is it. <laughs> As you open okay, your, okay. that's blood. That's the blood. Please part of me, mine. Part of my brains and part of my spinal fluid, probably. Those are jokes. He does comedy in the cellar. <laughs> yeah, I I open for Ray Romano. <laughs> He's a big Ray Romano opener. Yeah. So this is the hallway. This is where we put our coats. Yeah. Um, notice there's a place here for a gun. The gun's not there. Where could Edged it be? Into the wall. That's right. <laughs> it's it was Chekhov's gun. It was. <laughs> it was up until about five minutes. Five ish ago. minutes. Five five it, he's been standing for five minutes. Let hey come on. <laughs> Pretty good for a man who's just been Don't shot. Don't you yeah. call it Chekhov's gun before the gun gets shot though? Okay, you should get the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Fuck! Harky, yon book maiden. I am a paladin. And I am on a quest. Good job, young sir. You found me. I'm in the autobiographies. <laughs> I'm here to save you and earn your favor so that we may sire many children. Many little paladins and paladinettes. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you accept my advances toward you, then I'll get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in a old timey accent in a library? <laughs> My love! The witches, they found me! No! <laughs> Something and get out of here. <laughs> I have my 
my squirrel final tomorrow. I don't need this bullshit. <laughs> pretend to be a dragon. I'm also no. involved in this. I know, but you're on all the way over there and I can't whisper to you because it's a library. <laughs> you're on my shit list too. Yon Maiden. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Can you shut <laughs> You can't. No, get over here. someone in the face. <laughs> That's right, Dad. <laughs> Congratulations. Today you've really become a Cheney. Oh. <laughs> You're one of the guys now. This is my other two daughters. You may know them yeah. from politics. We like I'm you. the lesbian one. <laughs> you don't exist. <laughs> shot one guy and was with us. Uh, did he apologize to you? He did. <laughs> he did. He said, that's my fault. And I said, you're goddamn right it was. You got it. I, I got it last night. Okay. <laughs> us shadies, we're too tied up in the Midwest. We don't have any New York elite in the mix. Yeah, I guess I conquered New York. Mm -hmm. Shot that one guy. Yeah. yeah. Now shoot everyone else. <laughs> Politically. And you're running against me, huh? All right, Giuliani, <laughs> you old feeble-looking bitch. <laughs> I may be old, but I make up for that in... I'm not going to finish that no. <laughs> Frank, you want to debate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now coming live to you from CNN SVNC. <laughs> we debate. didn't get on the better channel. Yeah, we got <laughs> it's like their fifth All cable right. channel. So whoever finds Waldo first, is declared a winner. Oh, here we go. I'm the, good at this. As in Jenkins, New York's rules. <laughs> Anywhere? You gotta find, find the Waldo. The Waldo. The Waldo. There's some tricky things in there that kind of look like Waldo, but they're not Waldo. Hey, Giuliani, what? can I ask you a question? What? Have you ever seen um, Fifth Element? Yeah, a million times. Remember that part when the dude had, he like cut himself open because he had the thing inside of him? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Waldo! <laughs>
is uh, everybody stand up if you're able. We're going to ask you a series of questions. And if the question, if, if it's, uh, for example, if you've ever been to New York City, sit down. Whoa. That has to be Whoa. No way! Whoa. Whoa. So we were down to two. Do you have other questions? Um, Did you go to, um, either of you go to summer camp? If you went to summer camp, sit down. What's your name? Liz. Everybody Liz. give it for Liz! Woo! One more time for Ben Scaria. Ben. One more time for Pat in the booth. Yeah, Pat. Uh, we do shows every weekend, Friday and Saturday, so please come back and support us some more. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a good